Hola amigos, and welcome to our next Let's Play project, this is Tales by Raga, and today we are playing New Super Marissa Land. Aww. Let's get started, shall we? This game is a wonderful little platformer in the vein of Mario, but starring Toho Project characters. Also, you may notice a little bit of artwork to the right. No, that's not me doing that, that's actually part of the game. Uh, no, I don't get it either. Anyway, uh, this game is, uh, as I said, it's a Mario-style game featuring Toho Project characters, so you know we've got Marissa as the main character, which I guess is fitting because he, uh, I'm sorry, she is the only character that the Phantom actually cares about. Oh, man. I'm not catching a cold in the middle of a, uh, recording, am I? No, but I am catching the inability to tell what gender people are, apparently. It's always great. Are you a boy or a girl? Anyway, uh, I guess maybe I should explain the game's power-ups so far. Uh, you start off small. Fair enough. Uh, collect a mushroom and you grow one size. Uh, so, you know, you take a mushroom, you become actually normal size with something resembling human proportions. And then, uh, collecting certain power-ups in that state will enable you to go into different forms based on other Toho characters. So the form we have right now is Reimu's form, which happens to give us yin-yang orbs. Which kind of act like the Power Ball from, uh, Super Mario Land. Anyway, we beat stage one fairly quickly, and we've got two areas to go to. This is a shop, this is stage two. Let's go to the shop. The shop here, uh, the owner will sell us three different items. For 20 stars, we have T, which will give us the Reimu form. Uh, 50 stars will give us saving powers, enabling us to save the game. And 100 will give us an extra life. Also, we can throw power balls at him for some reason. Don't know what that's about. I just realized how weird it is to refer to a Toho character as him intentionally. Wow. Anyway, let's go on to stage two, shall we? Stage 2 is a little bit like Stage 1, ho ho! Anyway, the first stars we have in the stage are actually to the left, right there. Can we angle, angle our shots properly? There we go. Sometimes the camera doesn't like cooperating there, but it cooperated well for me. There. I don't even know. Anyway, hit that invisible uh, star block. Can't say coins, this game doesn't have coins. And we go in here for secret bonuses! And there's more power-ups, or not power-ups, uh, stars here as well. I'm not actually going to be going for all the red stars in each stage, but I will go for the ones I see, um, if they're not too out of the way. So I believe that there's a red star in one of these? Maybe? Please? No. Okay, well, let's kill some enemies. And I believe there's also red stars here. This jump is a little bit tricky to make. Can we... Wanna get up there? Okay. Nope. No, thank you. Nope, looks like it's not letting us get up there. Can't say I blame it. Okay, let's get another red star for our troubles. No, but the three remaining stars have to be up there. Oh well. Like I said, I'm not going to go for a complete getting all of the stars run, because I don't think they actually have that much importance to the uh, game. I don't think there's any, like, super specific bonus world or the, like, unlock the final boss by getting all the stars. No, that would be really, really silly. And when have I done anything that's silly? Name one time. Name one time. I bet you can't. I bet you can name more than one, though. Let's go to stage three. This is an underground level. As you can tell by the fact that we're underground. Mmm. That wasn't obvious, I don't know what is. This level also still giving us tea, which I guess is alright. In case you're thirsty, while exploring a cave. 
you know, maybe you do get thirsty inside a cave. I... I don't know what you guys do inside caves. Also notice that those were the first stars we- or red stars we've actually seen, but they're not the first on the list. Um, the game actually will map these stars horizontally. So, uh, let's hit this power switch real quick. Get some more, uh, stars for our trouble. You got a crystal star, yay! And now, we go over here, and collect the first two horizontally. It's a little bit weird with the mapping on these things, but, uh, you know, what works, works. Whatever floats your boat. Presumably water would, but, uh, you know, not like wood made out of water. Or water made out of wood, even. That would be a little bit weird. Water wood, starring, uh... Wasn't Waterworld a film? Uh, was Kevin Costner in that one? I have no idea. Uh, anyway, let's drop down here. Hoo -hoo. And there's actually a secret passage. If we can go here for a star. And here for more stars. Wow. This crazy star architecture. Star architecture, even. In case you're, you know, a fan of puns for some reason. And we go up here, get our star bonus. We're breaking them in quite nicely. Uh, I believe I'm actually going to have enough time to, uh, get all of World 1 done in this video. I am going to be cutting these videos to make sure they're not too long above 20 minutes or something like that. And that's mainly because I want to keep these videos in kind of bite-sized portions. Uh, you know, to make them just a little bit more accessible. I don't want to make the videos too long. I know that the Portal 2 videos I did were very long, but that's because there aren't too many uh, good places in Portal 2's co-op campaign to stop an episode, and... Well, I guess there would be, it just never really occurred to me, because, uh, as you guys know, I'm kinda dumb. Just a little bit. I, I blame it on my southernness, but, uh... My ability to be a southern gentleman... My ability to fall into a pit. That's also a bad thing. Well, I know what uh, star I'm not going for. Ooh boy, this is also a great star, isn't it? I can already, I can already see like slow beef and diabetes in the audience just saying, "Hey, you know what? We should riff this. That would be great." And I guess that would be great for someone. I don't know who. Slide! Yay! God, this game is cute. I, have I said that uh, yet in this LP? I feel like, for a game that I always gush about, just saying, oh, it's so adorable. I haven't been gushing over it that much. Allow me to change that. It's the cutest thing that ever cuted. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm bad at terminology. I'm bad at video games as well, as you can see there. Uh, also you have reserve items as well, which is very nice. Uh, don't think actually too many, uh, you know, proper Mario games have that reserve item system anymore. What a shame. Let's get our star bonus. Why not? That gives us enough stars to buy an extra life. Now I can pretend that that death never happened and that my life is worth something! But I presume that my life is actually a gigantic waste of time. Wouldn't be the first time. Right, let's actually get our power ball on. And... Stage 5. And this is an auto-scrolling level. Fairly easy auto-scrolling level. The first world... I did say that this game is a little bit harder than most proper Mario games are. But, you know, it's not going to throw us Kaizo level difficulty or something like that. No. If I wanted to play something as hard as Kaizo Mario World, I'd probably kill myself then because my life really would be a gigantic waste of time. I'd rather play something with good game design. Like this! Cuteness is good game design, right? 
I think so. Ooh -ha. Anyway, jump over here. Nullify Fuzzy. Touch Fuzzy. Uh, I'm not dizzy yet. How about you? Ooh, there we go. And now let's. Ooh -ha. I think there's actually stars up there, but maybe I shouldn't. No, they're not gonna follow me, are they? No, they're already way too far off screen. Oh, well, maybe. Nope. No. I'm sorry for my loss. But hey, let's get that one. Why not? We need currency. Holla holla get Doma. And the flagpole is. right up there. Cool. Oh, we couldn't pick that star up on the way? That's no fun. Oh well. Well, I guess we're going to be ending this video off with the castle, fortress, place, thing. It's really just Alice's house, no need to worry. Uh, maybe I should save first? Nah. We've got this. We've got this in the bag. You see that bag we have? I'm gonna put a picture of a bag on screen. Well, we've got this in the bag. Cue clever visual pun. Well, say clever, but I really mean it's probably going to be really, really awful. Right, uh... Should I go for the crystal, uh, the red stars in this stage? I don't think I really need to. Oop. See that we have an enemy down there. Also, uh... While we're here in the castle, why not talk about something completely irrelevant? How about that PlayStation 4, huh? I mean... To celebrate, I've been playing, uh... A lot of PlayStation 3. You know, a game system that I like. And I don't quite find it out of date yet. Even if, unlike the PlayStation 4, it can't render old people properly. Oh no, what will I do? Right. Got a nice little Super Mario World-esque castle here going on. Alice has a lot of traps in her house. It's a pretty crappy house, really. Crushes toys like they're made of papers. They sound like some pretty crappy toys. Oh, strong bad. How I love you and your poker nighting and your shutter shades. Would anybody out there be uh, willing to gift me a free copy of Poker Night at the Inventory? Uh, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Because it would give me hats. Other things. Well, I think... I, I say hats, but really just miscellaneous items. I guess. You know what I don't quite understand? About Team Fortress 2, actually? And, you know, this is while we, uh... Play something completely relevant. Why did I do that? I don't even know. Let's let's crash here. Talk. What I don't get about uh, Team Fortress 2 is okay. So the engineer has a miscellaneous item, the Pip Boy from Fallout, and it's considered a miscellaneous item. However, uh, the spy has similar items: the Quackenbert and the Enthusiast's timepiece. Oh, hey, Alice. I was talking about TF2. You're completely irrelevant to the conversation. You die now. Bam. But those items are considered separate invis watches, while the Pip Boy is not considered a separate construction PDA. I don't know. Were we talking about Toho Project? I have no idea. Wait, what? We. Okay, and that was a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know about you, but, uh, did I just see Marissa break into Alice's house, then beat her up and leave? Damn, Marissa. You are scary. Well, I guess that basically covers it for this episode. I don't know about you guys, but, uh... No, I really don't know about you guys. Tell me more about yourself. While I end this episode off, I'm gonna see you guys later. This is Tales by Raga signing out. Sorry for rambling. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.